Yo guys, welcome back to another Asphalt 8 video. This is Carson and today I will be testing the Vision 1789 at full pro on multiplayer. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to say that this is not uh, my account. Actually, my teammate Kato gave me the chance to test this car fully upgraded as I decided to not to go for it back when it first evolved, firstly appeared into the game because I considered that this car was not really better than the Aston Martin Valkyrie, a car which I have already fully upgraded as a reward of the content creator of the month a few months ago. And well, I have to say that definitely I prefer, I still prefer the Aston Martin Valkyrie over this car for a few reasons that you will know on this video. First of all, I have to say that this car acceleration is barely the same as the Aston Martin Valkyrie. There is not, not a huge difference on multiplayer. And now that I tested both cars on multiplayer, I can openly say it. I mean, I expected this car to be slightly better than the Aston Martin Valkyrie on multiplayer, but well, they are so-so. They are mostly around the same performance because the Aston Martin Valkyrie, I feel it a, a way more agile, a way more maneuverable than this car. I don't know why. I feel like this car handling is slightly heavier than the Aston Martin Valkyrie handling, which is also really good. I mean, both cars handling is really, really, really good. But I feel like the Aston Martin Valkyrie is lighter. I mean, this car feels slightly heavier, as I said before. So, well, that maybe makes this car a bit more stable, but still I prefer the lightness of the Aston Martin Valkyrie, in my opinion. Also because this car micro drift is not as good as the Aston Martin Valkyrie. I mean, the Aston Martin Valkyrie, sometimes I feel it like the McLaren X2, which is a micro drifting I'm in love with. Well, the Aston Martin uh, Valkyrie is not the same, but it's closer than the Vision 1789 to the X2 uh, micro drift. So that's a huge advantage, especially on some tracks with uh, uh, specific twists like this uh, on Venice. Well, also regarding the, nit the nitro duration, yes, I agree that the Vision 1789 has a better nitro duration than the Aston Martin Valkyrie, but well, they are at the end not the best nitro durations on the world class S. So, well, of course, the Centenario, we win both cars. So this video was also made in order to show up the differences between the Aston Martin Valkyrie and the Vision 1789 because, well, I also have to say that I prefer, regarding the design and the looks, I prefer the Aston Martin Valkyrie to this car. I had a bit higher hopes than expected regarding this car because, well, the looks the way it looks uh, is quite surprising. It's like really futuristic and that stuff. But well, regarding performance, uh, was a big disappointment, disappointment for me at least. I don't know you guys, if any of you have this car fully upgraded, also maybe have a different opinion from me. But well, I had the chance to test the Aston Martin Valkyrie fully upgraded. I had the now I had the chance to, to test the Vision 1789 fully graded and I definitely still prefer the Aston Martin. Also, another thing I didn't like a lot about this car was the drift radius because I feel it a bit wide. So, well, that's another thing I feel this car is inconsistent at. Of course, uh, well, both the Aston Martin Valkyrie and this car are not the best cars on Class S. The Centenario is still better, but well, I just wanted to check this car out in order to compare against the Aston Martin Valkyrie, which is still better than this car in my fair opinion, at least regarding on multiplayer. But I think that on events, the Aston Martin Valkyrie better micro drift uh, is still a huge advantage that this car does not have. So, well, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this car is better than the Aston Martin Valkyrie based, based on your thoughts? Well, let me know in the comments, drop your like, turn on notifications, and remember to claim your subscriber rewards in the description. And see you really soon, guys. Goodbye and take care. Disasters It comes and goes The light